So how'd you get into this? Well, it was by coincidence. One day I grabbed a kite and I just flew up in the air. Still, well, there's a guy up there, look. Hey, Eric. Hey, how's it going? Darren Porter. Yeah. How's it going, man? Let me get this thing in front of me. It looks like you're, did you, had you just come in? Yeah, I just came in from that first heat, stepped on the beach, like set my board down. Yeah. And that gust hit, and then that's like when I fly over, you know? And uh, ironically, Top Hat says, So how'd you get into this? Well, it was by coincidence. One day I grabbed a kite and I just flew up in the air. Still, well, there's a guy up there, look. What happened right there? There's a kite or lines in front of me and I jumped up in the air over that. Uh -huh. I went up to about five feet and hung there for a second and then just got, you know, picked up off, you know, went off the beach above the Napaka and that's probably where I was flying by top hat. When you look at the clouds behind you, they just look crazy, like something's going on up there. Yeah, there's definitely a black cloud kind of above us there. and. I've talked to some of the paragliders, and I think that was probably causing that updraft also, or aiding it. Right. I'd unhooked, and I was going to let go. Jeez. And then I hooked back in, because I kept going up. I don't even know if I could have held it when it Dude. whipped me up like that, if I wouldn't have been hooked in. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. how is he holding on? What do you th Are you thinking this has got to end, you know, pretty soon? <laughs> yeah, when I, I came up off the beach, and I unhooked, and I was going to let go, and I'm 25 feet in the air, and I figured, well, if I let go now, I'm going to break a leg. Yeah. I figure, well, I'll just ride it into the parking lot. And I'm still going up. So then I think, oh, you know, I'm stuck up wind. I see the bushes. I'll head for the bushes. Still going up. So I hook back in. As I get over the bushes, then it just, like, two 75-foot jumps or just whips, you know, whips me up. And at that point, it kind of steadied out after that whip, but you could feel the air just rushing up around you. Wow. And I, you know, I was just thinking, well, <laughs> this is pretty <laughs> and you know, because I've done some skydiving up there, uh -huh. thinking I'm, I'm kite surfing, not skydiving. Yeah. And I was looking down at the ground, you know, through my feet and seeing all my friends running around. And so, I kind of, at that point, I just kind of decided to like steer it back to the water. And about the same time I got out of that updraft, I started heading back to the water. And that's yeah. when the, at first I thought, well, it's controlling pretty well, I'm doing pretty good. You know, as I come into the ground, I'm just gonna like unhook, throw the kite away, tuck and roll. Yeah. And then the bottom just dropped out. Do you hit pretty hard? Yeah, I hit pretty hard. I I tried to turn it back into the wind. Yeah. I like to um, soften the landing, but I think at the same time, you have that 100 foot of line and I'm still swinging underneath the kite. Yeah. I think that's when I hit the ground. Yeah, I hit pretty hard. Hit on my, like, rolled over on my right side. And then the kite powered back up and flipped me up over onto my left side. And then uh, a couple of guys ran up and I hooked it pretty sore for quite a while, but I didn't actually break anything. It was definitely, one, like when I got up there, I was just, I got up and I was pretty much like, you know, I'm probably gonna die. No, I don't think anybody will, has, has seen anything like this or will see anything like this ever again. I, I think that was the thing too, because nobody ever thought it could happen like in the beginning. So are, are you closer to God now? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely makes you think, you know, but I'm pretty lucky overall. I'll say. Could have been a lot worse, obviously. That's amazing. You know that that's got to be an unofficial record because it's probably 38 seconds. Yeah, so so, I figured like a 39. It's pretty weird. So are you still kiting now? Still kiting a lot now. Yeah, you know, every chance I get, just uh, a lot more conscious of the weather conditions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, all right, man. Well, thanks for thanks for your time. All right, sounds good. All right, Eric. Thanks. Okay. See you. Bye.